Hello and welcome to the CMC Markets Chart of the Week video with myself, David Madden, Market Analyst here at CMC Markets. And today's date is Wednesday the 28th of February 2018 and the time has just gone 12.45pm UK time. And the Chart of the Week this week is going to be the ASX 200 or as we call it here at CMC Markets on our platform, the Australia 200. So taking a look here on a daily chart, what we can see is um, the Australian 200, uh, like many uh, global equity markets, had a good finish to 2017. So as you can see here, classic example of the higher highs and higher lows. And in early 2018, in January of this year, the market went on to hit its highest level uh, for 10 years. But like global equities, uh, global equity markets, it, it endured a major sell-off in early to mid-February. As we can see here, there's quite a substantial sell-off, but the market has been turning around over the past say, two, two and a half weeks. As we can see here, the market has, has been pushing higher and has regained uh, a large portion of the, of, the, of the ground that it has given up. And should this um, push higher over the last couple of weeks continue and the market actually were to actually continue to push on higher from here, we could be looking at retracing the, 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 old, the recent high, the recent 10-year high of 61.60. And if we go beyond that, uh, we, we could be looking at pushing to 6,200. But if you take a look at the MACD uh, his histogram, the MACD indicator, we can see that as the market was, was driving lower in early February, we saw a steady increase in negative momentum. But over, about two, two and a half weeks ago, when the market began to turn around, we saw a decline in negative momentum. That was actually swung into positive momentum. So the market is pushing higher here, and that's been confirmed by a steady increase in positive momentum. The last couple of sessions have seen the have seen the market turn a bit lower, but it's 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 not a, it's exactly a major surprise given how much ground we've we've covered in the past two and a half weeks. So the market has drifted a bit lower, and we have seen ever so slight slight decrease in positive momentum. So it's possible we could drift lower in the near term before potentially uh, continuing the 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 medium term positive positive upward. Uh, upward move and look to retest the recent um, the recent highs of 61.60. So if the market does continue to drift lower, we may look to find some support in around the 50-day moving average, which comes into play at 60.16, or perhaps even down at the 100-day moving average, which comes into play at 57.79. Notice how the 100-day moving average did manage to act as support only last Friday, and if you look at if you, if you look at uh, early February. It did manage to act as resistance. So, if, it, if a certain metric has a previous uh, uh, previous history of acting as either a, a support area or resistance area, it may, is likely to do so again in the future. Even if you drift lower south of the 100-day moving average, we may even find some support from the mid-February low of 58.77. This price area here. If you do manage to actually have a decent break south of 58.77. That could be an indication that we actually are looking to retest the recent lows and the market actually is turning over on itself rather than correcting itself and pushing higher. So if we do have a decent break south of 58.77, we could be looking heading back down towards these 5,800 5, area here or perhaps even down as low as a February low of 56.71 and a move south of 56.71. Would, be an indicate, would suggest we could be looking at heading back down towards 5,600. Well, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.